This is a bit of a more casual video. I understand it's going to be an old man yells at cloud situation because this will never change. And it's a video I actually made uh, kind of a couple of years ago. I made a video about this topic, but I wanted to take a look at it again today because it's April 2nd when I record this and I genuinely think April 1st or April Fools still sucks. It's not fun. The funny side of April Fools is things like I played an innocent prank on my friend. You know, that's kind of like the funny side of it. But the problem is that the internet has taken it and every underpaid intern at every company basically thinks that they are a stand-up comedian on this day. Like they think that they're walking out onto the, onto the podium and it's like their time to shine, but it's not funny. Like most of these April Fool's things are either good ideas that people would actually like that it's brain dead to tease and then do nothing with, or they're such blatantly fake and stupid ideas that they're not funny at all. There's probably some individual funny jokes in April Fools, but overall the concept of it and the execution of the idea of just making a bunch of fake announcements of products and then the next day being like, ah, gotcha, yo, you thought that was cool? Fuck you. I just kind of don't care for it. I think it's lame. But anyways, because everybody used it as a chance to promote their fake products, I will draw your attention to two things here. First off, we do have new products over on CosmoBunny.shop, our site where we actually make repurposed comic book resin and manga resin pieces along with handmade jewelry. We go to comic book stores, we collect comic books that are too damaged to sell. We turn them into something really cool for your home, trays, keychains, coasters, things like that. Then we recycle the rest of it. We use recycled packaging materials. And my wife, Jill, also does handmade jewelry over there. So the link is in the description down below. You can use code DJAY123 for 10% off. And that code is also our Fortnite supporter creator code. Taking a look at some of these jokes, some of them are just not funny. Some of them are just like lame, boring jokes. For example, the Pokemon Twitter was talking about how they're going to do a Pokemon sleep tournament. Basically like, oh, who can sleep the most? Things like that. Uh, you know, even Elden Ring got in on it, which like, I love Elden Ring, but come on. Cyberpunks was putting their game on 97,000 floppy disks because that's how many it would take. I guess that's creative, I, I guess. Uh, but a lot of these two are just kind of weird, like not very funny jokes. Like for example, Sega putting out a whole tweet about how you could combine all of your cartridges together, kind of like DLC, and basically insert 10 cartridges on top of each other. I will say that something about this that's funny to me is that it kind of harkens back to the days of having something like a Game Boy with 50 attachments on it. But a lot of these are just boring. Like there'll be things like, oh, well, Razer is doing a new chair. We have a new product out, skincare products. Hey guys, you know what's really, really funny? What if we had a Pal World dating sim? All right, I'm gonna be honest, the Pal World dating sim, I, I'm, I might actually play. That one might fall on, oh, Jill's looking at me funny, but that girl over on the right with the pink and black hair, she's like a baddie. I don't know what's going on there. I've never played Pal World. Uh, but if that's like what I can get out of that game, that I've changed my mind. That's just a good idea. I'll buy it. But speaking of that, there's actually a lot of weird uh, pranks that are actually funny or, or not funny, but I should say good ideas. And it's funny because you'll see like people ask for these things and the company will ignore them for years. But then sometimes that thing will come up on April Fool's as just a slap to the face. So here's an example of that that I saw actually, uh, because I'm looking at several different articles that kind of you know, put together a lot of these ideas. And one of them that I saw was a Sega Dreamcast Mini. So the idea was basically kind of like the SNES Mini or the NES, you know, where you got that retro console, but it had all the games preloaded on it, right? And it was a way to play it on an HD TV easier. It kind of circumvented the idea of needing to do things like emulation, right? That's why it was a popular idea. Well, people have been asking for that for the Sega Dreamcast. So then like you've got accounts like Retroblast that post, oh, well, it's actually officially announced, but it's like people actually want that. You know what I mean? Like it, the, a lot of these ideas are frustrating. I even saw one that I can't find now that someone posted and it was about how Sony was going to enact an anti-censorship uh, anti policy. Because a big issue with Sony in the last, I would say probably five to 10 years has been that they went from the pretty open platform, you know, like put whatever you want on here, uh, you know, 
as long as it falls within the ESRB guidelines platform to the platform that even had to have games like uh, Doki Doki Literature Club have its uh, blood censored. But in recent years, it's gone much more into the idea of like, hey, look, that's a little too far. A lot of people that rub them the wrong way. When it comes down to it, people are tired of that kind of thing. So when they see like a post like, oh, well, you know, PlayStation's gonna go the other direction. They're gonna do an anti-censorship thing. There were people literally in the comments who were like, yes, this is awesome, I'm so excited. And that's the problem I have with this day is like the unfunny jokes I could get over. Although like, give me that Pal World simulator. I'm being serious here, that pink haired girl. Uh, I, look, I, all right, let's, let's move on. The gooning allegations continue. But I do think a lot of these are just unfunny jokes and I can get past unfunny jokes, okay? I'm a pretty unfunny guy. I think I'm funny, most of you don't, that's fine. Uh, we're all here stuck together. But the thing is that unfunny jokes are pretty harmless. It's just kind of something you roll your eyes at and you move on. But the problem that I have with this is all of these ideas that actually sound fun and cool and sound like fun little spin-off games, or they sound like an actual good idea for DLC or a machine that people have been asking for for years. And instead of actually getting to see it, instead we just get nothing at all. I just don't understand why this is a good idea and why it's something still done. I mean, you know, I guess I should say applause to the companies that make it obvious that their ideas are fake. But my big problem is that so many of them come off like they're real things that people want to see. I don't know, overall to me, this holiday seems like a way to toy with people's emotions, basically to get them excited for stuff that they actually did want and then to let them down. Basically to be like, oh yeah, look at this thing, and uh, here's the finger. And that's kind of why I don't like this day. That's why I'll never like this day. Because it's one of those things where you're basically just trying to build up people's hopes and then basically knock them down the next day and make them feel bad. I, I guess to me, that's not like April Fool's. Like, that's not funny. That's just letting people down and being annoying. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm interested. I, whenever I've talked about this in the past, I've always gotten... Well, you just don't think things are funny. Maybe you should try being more funny. And it's like, look, at the end of the day, if you find this stuff funny, good for you. Uh, I don't. This is pretty much my day to stay off the internet, April 1st. I just don't even use it that day because I just find it obnoxious. And I find most of the people who participate in it as obnoxious as the holiday itself. So if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content. Like I said before, new products are up on CosmoBunny.shop. Lots of fun stuff over there. Fortnite Creator Code, if you want to support this channel, we also do have, of course, a Let's Play channel, Degenerate Plays, where we're playing through a bunch of games together right now. My wife Jill and I have been making some anime videos over on Magical Jill, another channel of ours. Been talking about Dragon Ball recently and some stuff like that, so I hope to see you there. Have a fantastic day. As always, everyone, stay flay. Oh, April Fools, wasn't that funny? Oh, <laughs>